Hi all, I welcome you to this session on table calculations in Tableau. Now because it is of utility to beginners, it makes for a very essential module in most Tableau training curricula and we are going to cover all you need to know to get started with table calculations. But before we begin, let's discuss our agenda for today. We're going to start out by introducing you to table calculations, followed by a few fundamental concepts in table calculations. Then we're going to find out how tables are computed in Tableau once you've made those table calculations. Finally, we are going to move on to our demo machine, which is the Tableau desktop, and build our own table calculation. We are also going to learn how to edit and remove the calculation. So sit back and follow along if you already have Tableau desktop. If not, you can just watch me do it and learn at your own pace. So without much ado, let's get started. So what are table calculations in Tableau? Table calculations are basically the special type of field that computes on local data. They are transformations you apply to values in a visualization. They're calculated based on what is currently in the visualization and do not consider any measures or dimensions that are filtered out of the visualization. You can use your table calculations to transform values, including but not limited to rankings, running totals, and percentage of total. Now, for all charts in Tableau, there is a virtual table that is determined by certain dimensions in the view. This table is not the same as the tables in your data source. Specifically, the virtual table is determined by the dimensions within the level of detail in a Tableau worksheet. Now that you know what table calculations are, let's move on to the fundamentals of table calculations. Now, when you add a table calculation, you must use all the dimensions in the level of detail, either for partitioning or scoping or for addressing or direction. Now to do so, you need to understand what partitioning fields are. Now the dimensions that define the scope of data it is performed on are called partitioning fields. The table calculation is performed separately within each partition. Now partitioning fields break the view up into multiple subviews or subtables. And then the table calculation is applied to the marks within each such partition. Now the remaining dimensions upon which the table calculation is performed are called addressing fields. These determine the direction of the calculation. Now the direction of the calculation is slightly tricky to understand, which we shall also cover in the later part of this tutorial. Basically, the direction in which the calculation moves, for example, in calculating a running sum, that direction is determined by addressing fields. So when you order the fields in the specific dimension section of the table calculation dialog box from top to bottom, you are specifying the direction in which the calculation moves through various marks in the partition. Basically, you add a table calculation using the compute using option and Tableau identifies these dimensions automatically as a result of your selections. But when you want to determine which dimensions are for addressing and which are for partitioning, you need to use specific dimensions. Now, if the whole table calculation and the direction in which your calculation moves part has confused you a little, I know for sure it confused me for the first time, the next segment is going to clear that section out. So let's understand how does computation work in table calculations. First of all, there are a couple of different directions in which these calculation moves, starting out with across table. In this particular table, the calculation moves across the length of the table and then restarts after every partition. In the table that you see in front of you, the calculation is computed across columns, your order date, and for every row, which is the month order date. Next is similar, but it goes downwards. We have table down. Now this particular calculation moves down the length of the table and restarts after every partition. In the table that you see in front of you, again with the same measures and dimensions, the calculation is being computed down the rows for every column. Next, we have across then down. It's as the name suggests, this table calculation happens across the length of the table and then down the length of the table. If you see the table in front of you, calculation is being computed across the year column and then down a row and then across the columns again for the entire table. 
here your partition is basically your entire table similar we have down then across where you might have guessed it the calculation goes down the length of the table and then across the length of the table as you can see in the table in front of you then you have something known as a pane and here the calculation goes down an entire pane in the table in front of you for example the calculation is computed down the month rows for a single pane then again even in panes we have something known as a cross and down and here it goes across the entire pane and then down the pane the likes of which you see in the table in front of you the calculation is computed across the year column for the length of the pane and then down the month row and then across the column for the length of the pane again the same thing you have with down then across here the calculation goes down an entire pane and then across the pane like you see in the table in front of you i don't think that requires much explanation as i've done it around a couple of times before then you have one which goes within a single cell not very difficult to understand you can see the calculation the orange box surrounding one cell only apart from that you also have a few wild cards one of them is specific dimensions here the calculation occurs only within the dimensions you specify in the visualization that you see in front of you the dimensions month of order date and quarter of order date are the addressing fields and we have selected them and the year of order date is the partitioning field since it is not selected so the calculation transforms the difference from each month across all quarters within a year and then the calculation starts over for every year also if all the dimensions are selected then you can understand that the entire table is in scope apart from this you also have the add the level option which is only available when you select specific dimensions in the table calculations dialog box and when more than one dimension is selected in the field immediately below the compute using options basically this is the option you get when more than one dimension is defined as an addressing field with that let's move on to building editing and removing a table calculation in tableau for that we'll have to go on to our demo machine which is the tableau desktop app here we have our tableau public desktop app It's a great way if you're just, you know, dabbling into various BI tools and you don't want to invest in something already. This is also a great tool to learn how to use Tableau as this has a capacity of computing on a million rows, which is not all that bad for a free application. So, let's get building a table calculation. So, I have already opened the Tableau desktop and connected to the sample superstore. the dimensions and measures to which you can see on my left or on your left and i'm already on a new sheet now the sample superstore is available to you if you download any version of tableau desktop apart from this you also have a data set known as global indicators you can try this with that as well in the data pane under dimensions what i'm going to start out with is i'm going to drag order date to the row shelf All right. As soon as I dragged order date into the row shelf, you might have seen it automatically updated to the year of order date. On the row shelf next, I'm going to right click on this and select quarter. On the same shelf, I'm going to click on this plus icon over here on quarter of order date and the month of order date is added on its own. Now from under the dimensions again, I'm going to drag order date to the column shelf. Okay, let's do that. The dimension automatically updates to the year of order date as it had done before. Now we're going to go to measures and drag, let's see, sales to this text mark card over here. And now your screen should look like mine right now. you have your rows and columns of quarter versus year of order date now step 2 is adding the table calculation now on this marks card that you see right here i'm going to right click on the sum of sales and select add table calculation which will be an option at the bottom right here 
something like this is going to appear on your screen. This is the table calculation dialog box for calculation type. I'm going to select difference from which is already selected by default for compute using. I'm going to select table across and when finished, I'm going to exit the dialog box and check my work. Now what I can do is I can go around from every year to every quarter and I can see the difference in sales from the previous along the table. So congratulations, you've built your very first table calculation on Tableau. Now basically to edit a table calculation, we are going to right click here. This is the measure in the view which the table calculation is applied to and select edit table calculation. Here I can change the calculation type to difference from to percentage difference from and then compute using across and then close it. And as you can see, instead of difference in sales from previous year, right now I get percentage difference in sales from the previous year. And all of these numbers have turned into percentages. You can make as many changes or as few changes as you like. Feel free to play along because that is how you're going to learn how to use this tool. Now to remove a table calculation is pretty simple. Basically again, we are going to right click on this measure. This is the measure again to remind you. This is the measure in the view which the table calculation is applied to and then we can select clear table calculation here this option. This removes the table calculation from the measure and the visualization updates with its original values. So click on it. And it's back to where we started from here. See no difference in sales, no percentage difference in sales, no nothing. Also the little triangle right here on the right that you can just go back five seconds and notice which is a sign of having a table calculation is gone. So that's all folks. This is all you need to know to get started with table calculations. With that, I close my session. My name is Opasna. Thank you and have a great day.